Well, my name's Peter Nash. Um, I'm a safe care lead. Um, I manage Gateshead Learn Disability Services. Um, <clears throat> in terms of if someone was to ring into the department or the service, if you like, um, and their concern was that they found a lump within their testes, um, the process would be that a referral would come in and then that would come to me. I would look at that referral and on the basis of the information determine its urgency. Um, I would then allocate that to a community learned disability nurse who would then contact and see that individual ordinarily within 10 working days. Um, what that will mean is that the community nurse will go out and see that individual and discuss their concerns with them. If the concern is about, in this case, a lump on some, someone's testes has been found, um, then what the nurse will do will support that individual, not only emotionally, in terms of how they may feel about it, but also they will support them in getting access into the GP and having further examination to ensure that the lump itself is either or not uh, indicative of cancer um, and that all the necessary checks that are required are carried out. So part of the nursing role would be to ensure that the GP has undertaken a robust, if you like, um, analysis or assessment of that individual. If it were that the GP wanted to carry on and do further tests that required the individual to attend an outpatient appointment, the community nursing role then would be to link up with liaison services to continue to offer that individual emotional support and any practical support. They may support the individual in transporting towards to the, to the hospital for the outpatients um, or they may um, have conversations with their carers or family members and go through the detail of what may happen in that process. But coming back to where the community nurse will talk to the liaison nurse, and our liaison nurses are those individuals that work within the hospital and are there to ensure that reasonable adjustments are made for the individual with a learning disability. So the community nursing role at that point would be to discuss that individual with the liaison nurse with the person's consent um, to discuss that person's um, needs at that time and how or what adjustments they may need in order to access um, the hospital and it's an extended appointment time, user-friendly information and then they will support the person on that journey through that process with the liaison team. If after the outpatient appointment, the outcome for the individual wasn't positive, say they had found some suggestion of cancer, then the nurse will continue to support that individual and any other appointments that they may have in, relate, in conjunction with the liaison nurse as well, until that episode of care, if you like, has finished, be it that the individual goes through treatment and that treatment is successful, albeit that the individual goes through treatment and that treatment is not successful. But either way, the community nurse will remain involved until the outcome is concluded, if you like. In addition, the community nursing role would also be to talk to the individual about testicular cancer, to give them information about testicular cancer, and also to promote how one can continue to check their testes, if you like, and what to look out for, signs and symptoms. Um, so they will give them easy read information and other materials that might support their understanding. If the individual's capacity is such that they might find it kind of difficult, quite difficult to understand what's kind of publicly there, for everybody to see in the user-friendly format. We can then get involved our speech and language services who will then make the information more adapted to the individual themselves. 
to sort of break the inf information down further um, to enable the individual to um, understand what they need to do to keep a check on their own health, in this case, their testes and the size of them and what to look for, as well as what it means if you have testicular cancer. You know, and it's, it's, you know, it's right to say that if you catch something like testicular cancer early, if you fill a lump and you report it early, the success rate is greater. You know, like any cancer, the longer you leave it, the bigger it gets. So the earlier the detection, the more chance of successful treatment and successful positive outcomes for the individual. If someone does discover something that's not right about their testicles, it may be a lump, the shape might feel different to how it once was. You know, uh, when you text your te you can check yourself when you shower and you might find there's some difference in your testes. Um, then to contact the learning disability team if you're afraid to contact your GP or you don't know what to do. Ordinarily we would ask you to contact your GP because the GP themselves will do that medical examination, that physical medical examination. And then the GP may well or is likely to contact the learning disability team. So whoever contacts the team, be it the GP, be it the person themselves, be it a family member or be it a carer, process would be that that referral will come into the admin team and the contact number for that is 0191 283 2583. <clears throat> Once that referral comes in, within 24 hours of that referral arriving, I will allocate it to a community nurse. Now, on that referral, the admin person may also note that the person that rang up was extremely anxious, was very concerned, and may benefit from a visit earlier than within 10 working days. If that is the case, then I will ask that community nurse that I allocated to, to ring that individual within the next 24 hours and have a conversation with them, listen to their concerns, and try and support them with those concerns and book an early appointment within the 10 working days rather than waiting for the 10 working days to see that individual. But ordinarily, it will take about 10 working days before a community nurse will come and visit the individual. When they visit that individual, <clears throat> as I said previously, you know, they will support the individual with their emotional concerns and such and discuss their sort of complaint with them, if you like, that they found a lump and it's on their testes. But in addition to that, they will also talk to the individual about the rest of their health. How are they doing? What are their social circumstances like? What support do they have? Um, other areas of their health, like their emotional health, their physical health, their mental health, um, their diet, so on and so forth. So we would assess the person holistically as well, just in case there's other concerns the person may have that they've not approached their GP or told anybody else about. So we don't just go out and say, okay, you've been referred in for, because you've got a lump on your testes. That's our prime concern, but at the same time, we'd like to understand if there's anything else that you would need support from the Community Learn Disability team. If that is the case, then there are other services that we can refer to to support. Occupational therapy, which can help with AIDS, um, activities in the community, um, anxiety and other sort of food preparation, diet skills, so on and so forth. Psy psychology, who can help with people in one-to-one -one counseling sessions, mental health, anxiety. And if someone, <clears throat> you know, if someone is very anxious and very concerned about the lump that they found, it may be that we would ask psychology to become involved. And it may be that we would ask them to maybe offer some brief sort of counselling sessions to enable the individual to understand their condition further or to manage their own emotional health. So there are other services we can refer into as well.